Twitter. Well, I've come under this tent to meet uh, four amazing families. They have all come together because their homes are, have been damaged or destroyed. Uh, they've gathered here together and are eking out an existence while uh, they figure out what to do next. Their shelter is gone, uh, clean water is difficult, it's been brought in by the municipality but they don't know how long that will stay. The kids are not able to go to school. Uh, I was talking to uh, the youngest, uh, uh, Ram, who is 13 in grade 5. Uh, he was telling me that his favorite s subject in school is English but he doesn't want to go back to school. And the reason he doesn't want to go back to school is that there are some of his friends who he hasn't heard from, and he's not sure that they're still alive to come back together. He doesn't want to see the class incomplete without them. So the family here has been telling us uh, the challenges that they face. It's only been three days since the earthquake, but they are sticking together. This uh, family and, and community is, is uh, helping each other survive. Uh, feeding each other, caring for each other. And I know that World Vision is in this community and will be helping this family and others too in the coming days.